Welcome to our journey. We will take a journey, a journey back in time, a journey back to the beginning, back to the beginning of time, back to the beginning of creation, back to the very beginning of creation. We have our visual universe, four trillion miles across. We have our galaxy. We have our solar system. We have our planet Earth. And there are mountains. Mountains are made of rock. Rock could break into pebbles. Pebbles could break into grains. Grains could go into dust. Dust could go into powder. Powder could go into smoke. Smoke is made up of atoms and atoms are made up of subatomic particles. Beginning, there was nothing. Nothing forever and ever. Never was anything. Never is anything. And never will be anything. Nothing forever and ever. Then there appeared a small force. A small force of attraction, gravity, and a small force of repulsion, anti-gravity. These forces were extremely small smaller than we could measure. The two would combine and annihilate each other, and again, there would be nothing. At a point in time, the anti-gravity flew away and gravity would be alone. In the whole universe, there would just be this bit of gravity. This process happened again. The anti-gravity flew away and another bit of gravity joined with the lone bit of gravity. The two forces of gravity stayed together, forming a bigger bit of gravity. This is the beginning of our universe. This process happened again and again. The cloud of gravity kept on growing and growing. The cloud of gravity grew larger and larger. The cloud of gravity grew extremely large, larger than our visual universe. With the size of the cloud of gravity being so large, the forces at the center became enormous. So extreme were these forces that they forced the gravity at the center to be squeezed into subatomic particles. As the cloud grew larger and larger, they would force subatomic particles and atoms. As gravity grew larger, light elements would form. Again, as gravity grew larger, they would form heavier elements. Then they would form very heavy elements. Then they would form black holes. This would grow into a sphere with heaviest particles at the center and lighter and lighter particles going outward. They would not form solids. Elements appear solid, but they are packets of gravity forced together with nuclear forces. There is no such thing as a solid, just elements and nuclear bonds made from the force of gravity. This sphere would be stable and grew larger and larger, possibly as large as a million miles in diameter. At a point in time, the cloud of black holes, the elements and the particles became unstable and it exploded. This event is described as the Big Bang. The black holes, elements, atoms and particles expanded out into the size of our visual universe. After about 13.8 billion years, the parts from the Big Bang and the gravity within our visual universe formed into our world that seems large and solid is really made up of particles and forces that are extremely small. There is no solid and there never will be a solid. The particles and forces are just forms of gravity forced together by the extreme pressure of gravity. There are just forces. There are no solids. For us, time is very difficult to imagine. The universe works in billions of years. Some events happen in a fraction of a second. For us, distance is very difficult to imagine. The universe works in billions of miles. Some forces are too small to measure. Our visual universe will be here for billions of years. Will it end? How will it end? How will our visual universe end? Without the powerful constraints of gravity that produce the particles, atoms, and elements, those items will degenerate back into their original state of gravity. Elements will break up into their atoms. Atoms will break up into their subatomic particles. Subatomic particles will break up into radiation and radiation will degenerate back into gravity. Parts of this process can take fractions of a second or millions of years. 
In conclusion, our universe is made up of particles, atoms, and elements. They are not solid, just a combination of particles and forces that appear to be solid to us. Our universe was created by gravity. Someday it will go back into gravity. The sphere of gravity will come together again, and the forces at the center will create atoms and elements again. When the forces at the center become unstable, there will be another Big Bang. The process will go on and on, over and over. I hope this will be informative to you, because this is our journey.